Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and I'd like you to be my plus one this evening as we continue our Best of Poker Night series. Now, there is nothing sweeter than looking down and seeing pocket aces, rockets, American Airlines, whatever you want to call them. But there's one thing that we can all agree on. Having your aces cracked absolutely sucks donkey <laughs> There's some advanced commentary for you. I mean, it sucks every single time it happens. But tonight, we put together an episode devoted entirely to aces getting cracked. Now, before we get started, I want you all to close your eyes and imagine the player who has had their aces cracked twice as much as anybody else on our show. Action on Greg Mueller. I think Greg's the best at getting it. A. Seven deuce. He folds. Yeah, Merson folds his big blind. Really and so now we're up to Phil Helmuth in Retro the run. straddle with the last option here to call. Eight. Eight. I'll take this one, love. You take the next one. And Phil's been saying this since the big game, at least. Taking turns. Quite the rail building out there, but honestly, it looks more like right people right are trying to come in from the rain than poker fans. No, a little more than that, I think I have. I think I have five left. So Liv Marie calls. Flops 10, Jack King, no, brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. Has a better chance of having Phil does it. not continue this flop, which I don't understand with his stack behind. He should be looking to build a pot. Jack, check. Here comes the turn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Phil was looking for Liv to bluff this, but that is simply not going to happen anymore. This is amazing. Phil thinks he's trapping. I guess I call just aces. Check. Phil checks on the river. And Phil's played this hand more like he's got queens or a jack in his hand than aces, so Liv's gonna size her value bet for a hand like that. Very nice sizing from Liv. There's the call from Phil, and this is what you get when you check the flop. Where the f do I even play in this game? Are you huh? Oh, aces. Oh, darn. Unlucky. She somehow makes a set. It's like so unfair. The people at home don't even get it. They don't even know how deep we are. You have to be careful. It doesn't matter. I still lose. The public doesn't know what we're talking about. Just look at her laughing. She knows I got her dead on. They whimper when you walk in. <laughs> oh, no. Aces with another appearance on Poker Night in America. Alberto makes a 1,200. Oh, can I give you 2,500? I'm like, this is so stupid. Well, you live up in farm country. What do you expect? Yeah, I've had to do that multiple times. It's you and the dairy cows up where you live. Remember that bank robbing movie, The Place Behind the Pines? Beyond the Pines or Behind the Pines? Doesn't matter. That's where Sean's from. Bank of America down the street is really good. Cashier's track. The guy in the movie robbed four banks, got away with like 80K. Not a lot of cash on hand. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Alberto's been waiting for this spot all night. Pocket Ace is up against Bryn Kenny, and Kenny is about to crack them. Unbelievable. I absolutely could see Bryn put in a raise here. Yeah, I might commit you to this. And thing. yes, he in Why fact does. Back in Memphis, I well, and I would love for Alberto to just soul read him here and fold aces. That's what I'm Point saying. Come on, Alberto, you can do it. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. He won't do it. No way he can fold here. Uh, not only is he not folding, oh, he's yeah, doing here comes the, even more. the opposite. Bryn will also be doing the opposite of fold. So now do you just shove the rest of them in here? I yeah. mean, if you're Bryn, I mean. Correct. Might as well. Yes. I want to show you that I got the nuts before I shove, right? All in. And Kenny is all in. And Alberto has invested so much of his money in this pot, he cannot Ooh, fold. Cow. We're playing some big hands tonight. Tough to not have it now. Yeah, there has seen There's the call. More so than normal. Todd's got a good line up here tonight. You talk to So the turn is another jack. Not good for aces. Only an ace will save Alberto. Yes, sir. And he doesn't find it, and I'm about to throw up in my mouth. Oof is right. 
You sit and wait for aces for so long, and then that happens. Just, ugh. That's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, and I saw Justice League on opening day. Poker Night in America, the best of Aces Crack will be back after these commercials, one of which is probably bound to be for that dollar store Pixar looking general, always trying to seduce me with his catchy jingle. Poker Night in America is brought to you by BetRivers.com. Welcome back to our special best of series on Poker Night in America. Tonight, we're featuring only hands where aces go down in flames. Now, before we continue, I'm being told from our nerd stat guy here on set that Phil Helmu, a guy that didn't even play season one or season seven, is responsible for 13% of all aces getting cracked on our show. That seems like an unfair shake, but you know, dodging bullets and everything. Tell me if we'll call with aces. And jacks for Jennifer Tilly in seed one. Uh, make it 18. 18 for that. 18. <sighs> Poker's hard. And I guarantee you those little hairs on the back of Phil Helmuth's head are standing up right now. Oh, what to do, what to do. 4,000. Uh, I'm not sure. I just know how much you have behind you? I think I have another, uh, another 20 now. Yeah, I did one, yeah. That's my profit. She bets enough to put Helmuth all in, and he can't get the chips in the middle fast enough. All right. I'm obviously good. Nice hand. Wow. And I know you oh. have never, ever, ever played that. A little all-in action here so again? I don't know why I thought you Natalia would has that. not lost a race all three times. Okay, I'm going to try so something have I like, new. I'm going to try insuring the hand. I wish I remember if you I had a jack or not, though. Yeah, I'll run it Okay, once. I'll give you 5% I know, chance. I don't remember. If That's I my deal with this show. You'll give me 5? You get 5% chance. Okay. I'm going to take my money back. Over the years, Phenomenoth is clearly one of the greatest poker players ever to play the game. And he foolishly insures hands time after time after time. John Gregor not. When he should understand the mathematics of No, 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 I'm good. You should insure it, that way you're... I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit a jack. Should we say that we both had a jack, or we shouldn't say that? Did you both have a jack? I'm out, no insurance. I'm just kidding, right? I'm out, I'm out. If you guys had jacks, then I'm not gonna hit a jack. I'm kidding. If two jacks are out, I hope I hit a jack, because that means it's a queer jack. She still might hit a jack and lose, but jack and diamond. Stipulate jack and you have to win. What? If you no, hit a jack no, 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 and you win. No, I don't care. I have to hit a jack. Like That's it. it. Right in the window, jack of diamonds. Boom. I'm feeling good. Jack of diamonds. Jack of diamonds. Uh oh, oh, oh. Nine, ten. I got more outs. Runner, runner, runner. I feel like a nine's not a bad card. I, I don't like know. Have I'd rather have a jack and take it slide. down right now. You have to have some outs, I feel like. Jack! Oh. Ah! 90 and a 9 or a jack? How many outs do I have? Six. Okay, I have six. 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 Wait, let her count. All right. <laughs> Wait, let me count. All right, chance. hold on a second. <laughs> six. I have six. Six I outs. I have 38. Mine like a computer. You have 38? Yeah. Okay, I need a jack or jack. Oh! oh! She doesn't have to buy a drink, she didn't, didn't hit a jack. I didn't hit a jack, but I did have a good feeling that I was going to win. Oh, you didn't burn the What? Over. And besides, you guys were doing your job. You were doing your yelling jack, 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 jack. All day yesterday, she put the weirdest beats on me. I did, I did. Make sure she just kept putting your money my, in. I She's like, I think I have to call him with ace, king, high. I just had a good feeling. I know, I, I got it. I, I know where you're leading. Who taught you to play poker? What? No, I would I never talk about how bad. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he made it one yeah. King Jack Suited, a fun hand to call with. I would never try to call. Talk about that. <laughs> yeah. What do you have I've left there, Matt? 2,700. How much to get you to fold? 550. Oh, wow. Pocket yeah. aces yeah. for Helmuth. 550. 550. Yeah. We're up to 550 <laughs> from Phil. <laughs> Let's jump him. I think he's going to check in the dark. Yeah. How fast Matt call a jack eight? It's like Maybe. he really, Maybe. really, really doesn't respect Phil's game at all. Yeah. Wow. Big flop. Helmuth's got a set of aces. Bracey's got the royal flush Five draw. Five. One down. All right. I'll be your Huckleberry. Fortunately for Phil, Huckleberry has got a big draw and can pay this off. Oh man, wow, Phil. That I have to check. Just wow. 
Phil Hellmuth, the favorite to lose again. I think Bracey missed a bet there. Yeah, he earns a little deception, but I just don't think Phil's gonna fold after playing this hand so strong. Stop and go. How much? Here comes the raise. Call. And a snap call from Phil. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Phil call that fast and be right. I mean, he really do wrong. I run bad. Wow. He really does run kind of bad. All right, come back for more of Phil's personal Hellmuth after this. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to Poker Night in Oh, America. look, a quadruple straddle at 3,200. Short stack, so I'm thinking, what am I wanting to see here? <laughs> I'm just gonna shove. I'm just gonna gamble. <laughs> is this a straddle? No, I just, is that open? Oh. I did look. Just your classic one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. It's normal. This is this is how it's like when I play. How much is that? Frank's got aces. That's good, but he doesn't have that many chips. That's bad. I mean, even shoving with twelve k, even if you just pick up all the straddles and the blinds, that's a that's a great win. There's a lot of money in this pot. That's good. But there's also a lot of people in this hand who don't like folding pre-flop. That's bad. <laughs> Dog pull going nowhere. He's in with king queen. Calderero's out. Looks like King Kaus has literally just come back from the bank. And what about GI? He's a fella that don't like to fold either. I think you're a hundred off. Oh, he's got too much. Yeah. All right, so casella has got all the money in. We will have a side pot that could develop between Polk and GI. What a dream scenario for Casella. He is a near statistical lock to win this hand. 1% equity for each of his opponents. That straddle won't do much for the game, does it? <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know. Gee. What is the verbal equivalent of mashing the keyboard? That's what I want to do right now. How does that happen? GI's bet $40,000 on this flop. No way Doug can fold. We know there is no way that he and GI will not chop this pot as long as he doesn't fold. Doug calls. Main pot's got 41,000, side pot's got 80,000 in it. We've got, a, we've got a Lexus on the side. Yeah. Holy. And GI has put all the chips in the middle. Doug's called. You're not good. There is almost a quarter of a million dollars in this pot. And Kissella just can't believe his luck. I mean, that's that's just, that's not supposed to happen. All right, here comes the river. It's a 10 of hearts. Kissella's out, and Polk and GI will chop it up. And then this this is chopped in half. Frank, you're, you're running great today, man. <laughs> you're doing great, you're doing great things. It's fun though, because like nobody could get hurt. No, he like, does. Matt thought it is. Cool. No, you could get hurt, but yeah. it depends. You know, People in our games got it hurt. It always starts off where no one could get hurt, and then there gets to a point where. I haven't had I actually played in a home game once where a bug zapper was bet. It's probably lightweight. Somebody bet a bug zapper. Somebody who had just been to the home improvement store and bought a bug zapper that day still had it with the receipt in his car, didn't have enough money to cover the bet, and put a bug zapper into the middle of the table. Sounds like a really sick game. JG could have had an ace king, but you know, I think he started Sad out. Sad thing is he won and took the bug zapper back and no one had to <laughs> return it to cash in. <laughs> Should have been a tell. If somebody is confident enough to put in a new bug zapper, they probably have got the nuts. You know, that's where the term of the nuts comes from. It's someone was so confident in their hand that they would bet the nuts from their wagon. Burn myself? So now we'll have to call the nuts the bug zapper. There you go. <laughs> I mean, who would be crazy enough to bet a bug zapper without it being on the nuts? Aces for Torelli, sevens for Silverman, and he flops a set up and down for Newman. Jeff Gross, eight high. Torelli was the pre-flop aggressor. He continues here with his over pair. All right, Stapleton, does this pot go over 20,000? 
I'll have to check out the turn. 20,000 maybe, does it get to bug zapper status? I'm not sure. We're at 4,300 now as the bet was 900 and got a couple of callers. Let's go to the turn. What the deuce? <laughs> I think Torelli really could go for three streets if this board doesn't get much worse. He's very unlikely to be behind right now. There comes 2,200. Of course, we know he is behind to Silverman's set of sevens. And if you are Silverman, there is exactly nothing on this board that scares you right now. Not try to eliminate a player. You'll even keep a player with a weak draw in to see the river. And Stuart Newman, or as I like to call him, Stu New, he's still drawn to the nuts, so he should be going nowhere. Just a call. Well, we're over halfway there. We're approaching 11,000 in the pot now as all three players want to see that river. And it is a nine, and the ship has come in for Stu New. Can I call him Stu New, or is that just a you and him thing? That's my gift to the world. Thank you. And he's first act. Now he's going to lead out at this. Very interesting. That's 3,300 into a pot of just over 10K. I'd be pretty surprised to see Alex Torelli pay this off. Do you think both of them are going to fold? I think a set of sevens has to call once Torelli folds, but he hasn't acted yet. Let's see what he does. Torelli folds, and yeah, I agree with you. Silverman has to pay him off here. I think Newman could bet this with King Jack or King Nine. So sick. Rivered again. I knew to raise the turn. And he didn't get the 20K. If you took the under, you win tonight $17,000. No, you don't win that. That's going to uh, do new. You win what my dad likes to call the special no prize. I should have just check folded the turn. It's so stupid. Poker Night in America is brought to you by BetRivers.com. The odds of being dealt aces is 220 to 1. But if you got them tonight, you're 100% going to wish that you had been in the bathroom and missed your hand. Aces crack continues now. <laughs> you get everything. You don't have to post, but everyone else does. Right. Well, that, that's one of the things. I'm not because. Because I'm primarily not a cash. You don't have to play any hands because you can just win all the runways. Runways, yeah. I'm primarily not a cash game player, though, so that's why I get these these, these added benefits. And I wear a bacon jacket. Yeah, you, were, you didn't even have to be in the tip pot when you weren't even here, too. You should pay him $6. I should, but I'm not going to. I'll give you a pass. I got your time this one. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm not, See, Chargers just Chargers just got a little bit of a hard on for me right now. He's like a little bit pissy because he wants to be the executive producer, but he can't be. <laughs> I, I mean, I figured it's like a producer at least get zone one. You gotta dress the part. <laughs> I know. How do I not get zone one? That was bull <laughs> Dave, if I don't get zone one in my in future flights, I'm not coming to this thing. Did you get paid? All right. Oh, That's all right. Who's paying? I, I should a I loser just keep buying all this shit or uh, maybe maybe one of my That's winning the for, thing. For, for one of my winning friends. Uh, the show's really taken off. How many times can I shame him into Syracuse it? Syracuse they fly as in a private jet. Now I get zone two. Tom, I would buy it, but I gave you all my money. What's that? I would have bought, but I gave you all my money. Well, you want a drink? I'll buy you a drink. I don't drink. Oh, then I'll. I water? Drink drink water? I'll get you all the water you want. But I don't, got worry. don't worry about water, Joe. I got you. <laughs> How long have you not drank? Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Baker calls. Fifty-four hundred dollars in cash in the pot now. Oh wow! <laughs> David Baker hits his gut shot on the river and casually checks. Ho hum. Merson trying to figure the exact amount he thinks he can bet to have Baker call. My dad, my, dad's, my, dad's, my dad died, but uh, his name's Steve Harder. He went to Zerna Park High as well. Harder, H-A-R-D-E-R. -E he went to Zerna Park High as well. He's, he would have uh, graduated around 1970, I guess. Um, but then he had a construction business before he moved to... Uh, Virginia. 4,800. Almost a pot-sized bet from Merson. Action back to David Baker. 
who's now going to put on the same thinking cap of how much money can I get out of Greg Merson with my straight. Christian, is where you're from close to Laurel? I mean, that's where Greg's from. It's like 30, 30 minutes away. Because that's where Stevie did, that's where Stevie did, did his, he probably knew your dad then, because he did, he's done tile work for 40 years. His dad's done it for, his dad's done it for 70 years. His dad retired when he was 88. I'm doing it. I'm sure one of them did. I actually, when I was a kid, I saw in first Rolling. grade, I lived in Eastport. And a bad spot for Greg Merson. He's only got a couple thousand left. There's $19,000 in this pot. But if he makes the call, all the rest of his chips are going in the middle. That may be one of the most painful things you have to do in poker. You flop top set of aces and you had to fold. What did he show? Holy Did shit. he show the card yet? He showed a six of diamonds. And Baker's going to let Merson off the hook and show them that he did indeed make the straight on the river. He just went with the big lick. Thank you, everyone, for watching Poker Night in America presents the best of Aces Crack. Now, make sure you tune in next time for the best of Set No Good Part 1. If you thought flopping a set felt good, just wait till you lose tragically with them. Hey, hey, you watching this video, I know this sounds crazy, but I am trapped inside the computer, like literally inside it. So after you watch another one of our great videos, could you get me out of here? Actually, you know what? First, hit like and subscribe, then get me out of here.